Welcome, guys, uh, to another episode of No Name Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Which might just be our name. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, far. Yeah, Felly Fell, Vinny the Freaking Regan, Nasty Nor, yes. we're here. And uh, we have a, a amazing topic to discuss today. Very interesting to all three of us, and I'm sure it's going to be inter- uh, interesting to everybody watching and listening. Um, before we tell you what the topic is today, I do want to touch on the fact that the one name that has stood out for this podcast, and we haven't come to a firm, this is what it's going to be called, but... And I don't know, where did the name 106 and Pod come from? Did, my, where did we... F- my boy RB, Robert Bridge, rapping bullshit. He's the homie from back in the day. <laughs> rapping bullshit. That's what we used to call him. That's what we still call him. <laughs> he DM'd me and said, yo, what about... He's very... He's he's actually a dope rapper, too. Um, he said, yo, what about 106 and Pod? I love that. And I was like... At first, I was like, of course, like, you, you don't know, like, you don't want to associate with another brand or whatever, but it's like a play off of words, it's hip hop, it's mm-hmm. punny, it's interesting, and then it, after right. a week or so right now, I feel like we're yeah, starting, yeah. To, starting to set in. We've been like, marinating on it for for almost a week. So, so shout to rap and bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> RB, what up, baby? <laughs> yeah. 106 and Pod is... is we it's might, a top we, contender. It's yeah. a top... So, but we still want you guys to comment, comment below, um... Maybe after this episode, it'll give you more of an idea of what, you know, this podcast, you know, is all about, what it entails, what we're all about, uh, as far as our topics are concerned. Um, And on that note, the topic for today, you know, recently, the late, great Biggie Smalls, a.k.a. Notorious B.I.G., was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You know, Clap it up for that. Which is an amazing feat. Long time coming. Um... And before him, there was there was Run DMC, Grandmaster Flash, um, Beastie Boys, Public Enemy, N.W.A., and I believe Tupac. Yes. Yep. So now we got Big in. Mm-hmm. So there's a total of, if I'm not mistaken, that's six. Yep. One, two, that three, are, four, five, six. It'll be seven it'll, with Big. It'll be seven. It's set, Big has made seven. So, you know, and I'll let Nora break this down. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna end with with our six picks yeah. because you know and i'll let you kind of explain how the how the the rock and roll hall of fame you know kind of does their thing right so there's really no criteria aside from the fact that the like literally the only formal criteria is that the artist has to have had their first record at least 25 years ago mm. okay so mm-hmm. that disqualifies like a ton of people a lot of yeah. people right, right right um statistics don't matter record sales don't matter how many followers you got, obviously, does not matter. Um, none of that is important to, to get this induction. But as we kind of created our own list, we kind of had a challenge in ourselves because then we're like, oh, shit. Oh, what about this person? Oh, what about this person? Just internally with ourselves, right? Mm-hmm. Ice Cube said it best. Ice Cube said, rock and roll is not an instrument. It's not even a style of music. It's a spirit that's been going on since the blues, jazz, bebop, soul, rock and roll, R&B, heavy metal, punk rock, and yes, hip hop. It's outside the box. So with that- And that was in a speech, right? Yes. In the Rock and the rock and Roll Hall of Fame speech. It was yes. well said. So yeah, Cube made the, the, the speech when NWA was inducted. Yes. Right. And, and uh, yeah, and I heard part of that, uh, I recall part of that speech, and I, he couldn't have said that better. Yeah. You right. Know? And, you know, there is, like, an underrepresentation of hip-hop, I would say. It's a strong representation, you know, and between... Women. It's the newest genre. Right. You know, there's a lot of different criterias. Each year, though, the Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, they nominate uh, 15, and I believe only six get in. Right. So this year's... Uh, uh, the nominees or this, this year's induction is the, the Pesh Mode, the Doobie Brothers, Whitney Houston, Nine Inch Nails, Biggie, and T Rex. So I guess not to cut you off, Nor, but I guess what we're gonna try to do right now, we're trying to accomplish in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, lists are such bullshit. They're so subjective, right? But I, they're fun, bro. And I it's made always so many lists. <laughs> you have too. Yeah. And every time I'm just like, I can't put this list out. It so just, the the goal is to get I'm it. I'm missing like eight people. No, nah, I know. Right. And I, you're Easy. never gonna get anybody. Never. You could have a top 100 hip hop list bro. and miss people, and yes. people will sling shit at Dog. you. And well, people like in the street. That. Number 60 wasn't 61. Exactly. Like, as a, exactly. As a, a DJ, and I'm not saying it's harder for me than people who aren't DJs, yeah. but as a DJ, you know, I want to put 
people like MC Shadi in my list, which okay. Nora's looking at me like, who the fuck? Okay, is we that? got yeah, we got to hold up. Yeah. Don't don't you know don't, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, I want to put you. I want to put uh, rapping Fote. <sighs> you know, I want to put uh, DJ Screw and Scarface and so why like not? That. Maybe so why not? This so is your list. It's my list. So it we're going to sure challenge is. ourselves, and, and, and though. And I'm not, not to say that I haven't put those in my top 50 Ooh. list. But then all of a sudden, I'm like, but wait a minute. I got to squeeze this one in. Yeah. So we're trying not to look at this as our you know top 50 you know greatest hip-hop uh, rappers of all time. It's not yeah. our even personal it's actually, favorites. Yeah. It's actually tougher. Yeah. Right. You know, and, and I, I did... The so I got I got my five. Okay, so what we're gonna do, and and these are some of my personal favorites. But wait, for just sure. so it's clear, because I know how these lists get. Yeah. Mm-hmm. people are already hot talking about it, like, oh, you didn't yeah, put this I, person, whatever. Exactly. And I know people listening, watching, are gonna get really passionate about, like, oh, how the fuck did you not put so and so and so and so? We're using Ice Cube's definition. So people that are outside the box that don't necessarily fit into one style of music or one you know style of anything. Mm-hmm. So people who kind of embody that spirit right definitely and this is our personal list so before people put us on set us on fire for having our opinions and stuff yes this is just based on who we think yes should be inducted and, mm-hmm. and, and there's different reasons why we pick certain people I'm gonna name my five you name your five you name your five and then we'll come back and explain you know. and so the goal is just to, to sum it up we're gonna name our five because each year there's 15 that get nominated in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and we're going to in- induct our six Correct. that need to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame like yesterday, like now. So, And, and we're going to try to do that in 15 minutes or less. I'm and name, I, can we say ahead. that both your guys' lists are qualifiers? Like, right, they qualify. They're, they hit that 25 mark. Right. That's fine. Both yours? Because yeah. mine don't. Oh, mine's, sure. mine's due, it. for sure. <laughs> And I want to point out, I know you kind of touched on this or about to touch on this. Uh, we saw a stat that less than 8% are of women, women, which is disappointing. You got to get that mic, Nor. I know. <laughs> you got to get that mic. Got to rap real quick. <laughs> you got to get with T-Pain and get some auto-tune or something going on. Oh, I don't on. need it. I don't need it, but. <laughs> Woo! Which, I'm excited. Which, by the way, and I told you y'all were going to trip on my list. They, y'all don't know my list yet. I think you kind of have an idea, but uh, before I give you my five, I do want to say that speaking of auto-tune, T-Pain was close for me to be inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and I'll tell you why. Mm. Because pain changed the sound oh, yeah. of hip-hop music and yeah. just urban music in general um, in so many different ways. And um, To this day, you to know? To this day. To this day. To this day. <laughs> you know, when like, you influence people like Kanye West, yeah. which, you know, Kanye is an influencer by far. Yeah. Uh, and he almost made my top five too. Mm. You know, and you know, people can say whatever they want to say about Kanye, but he's a he's a genius in so many ways. And so he doesn't qualify. So. I had to get that off my chest. Yeah, <laughs> those two. Yeah. Um. And uh. And, and and another one that I could have put in there, and, and and I'm a fan of him lyrically is Eminem. Uh, but he didn't make my top five. So Ooh. those were three I wanted to get out of the way. But I'm going to say my top five quickly. Let's go. Let's I'm not going to explain too much That's about fine. each one. You That's say fine. yours, Nora. You say yours. That's okay. fine. Let's get it. Um, number one on my list was Eric B. and Rakim. Facts. Number two was Jay-Z. Okay. Number three, Lil Wayne. Number four, The Neptunes. Ooh. Yeah. And number five, Be Real and Cypress Hill. And I'm going to explain strong all those, but Nasty Nor, go ahead, break it down. Uh, you know what? I think Vinny should go next. Okay. Yeah. Because mine, literally, I know some of yours kind of teeter totter. Okay. I'm going to go outcast. Before, hold on. Do you want to you want to give two or three that didn't make your list real quick? Yes, I do. Because, and this sucks, because we literally was just talking about the underrepresentation of women <laughs> in there. Um, but there's. There's prop my bottom half here. I have I have Scarface, mm. H-Town. Um, who th- n- you know Ghetto Boys. Do your Scarface homework. Changed do your homework for, for hip hop. Yeah, absolutely. H Town represented, but he yeah he out of here lyrics. Um, the just le- okay Scarface. Yeah. <laughs> then I had uh, Lauren Hill. Uh, Lauren Hill didn't make my cut. Um, this was tough for me too. I have Dela uh that mm. didn't make the cut. Uh even though in my opinion, Dela is probably the most consistent hip hop group in the history of hip hop. 
Um, so so those are a few that the De La one kind of hurt. Mm. So here's my five. Here we go. Outcast. The Roots. Tribe. Oh, yeah. Wu-Tang. Ain't nothing to fuck with. And Hieroglyphics Crew. Wow. That's my five. Wow. All right, so That's you, could, you could explain. We're going yeah. to get into a nice conversation about those in a minute. Mm-hmm. Nasty Nor. All right, people are going to throw your tomatoes at me. So the women, only 8% of women are getting in. You know what? I think I'm going to rock with an only female list. And again, I know... Really? Yeah, oh, I didn't that's, see that one coming. I, I think like so. That. I mean, eight percent. Yeah, that sucks. So you are gonna bring up J Cole, which is another one I almost put in my top five. J Cole, which is still Kendrick. early for Cole. He's only ten years in the game. That's why I didn't sure. go there. And we're gonna have the conversation oh, yeah. about the newer, younger uh, hip hop artists as well that that I see one day making this list. But that's another 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 story. Okay, but my honorable mentions are E Forty. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, Forty. He changed the game, man. Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, and don't hate me for this, but Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X forced himself into every genre of music. He dresses like a rock star. He forced himself into some damn jeans. He he does. He does. He is like a master tweeter, too. Let me, one of my favorite (laughs) tweets from him. You know, that could be a qualification in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame (laughs) for this this next class. Two of my favorite tweets from Lil Nas X. Wow, man, last year I was sleeping on my sister's floor, had no money, struggling to get plays on my music, suffering from daily headaches, and now I'm gay. (laughs) Second favorite tweet. Next dude to say something offensive to me is getting kissed. Like, how, like, you are so in control of your life and narrative when you are confident in your music and can put songs out like Old Town Road, Panini, and tweet like this. I think he's a total rock star. I know he's super young, but I'm definitely going to give him in my honorable mention along with E-40. So my female list, first and foremost, Missy Elliott. I think that's long overdue. I don't think she qualifies, but Missy Elliott. No, this is our own criteria, though. Yes. Lil' Kim. The Rough Riders' first lady, Eve. Okay. Mm. Cardi B. And Megan Thee Stallion. Okay. So you went a little bit... uh, Middle oh, school, a <laughs> little bit of obviously new new school, middle school. Are you going to question so my Megan school. the Stallion? No, nah, but I, I'm ready to to defend her. Well, so I thought, so I thought we were going to be naming more of you're naming people who just should. You already think Megan should be in, and she's only two years Look, in the game. She's got rock star knees. She's got. She's a but college girl and a freak on do the weekend. Years from now, we don't, and we don't know what Lil Nas X is going to do. But I'm exactly. saying right <laughs> <Exactly>. now, <laughs> okay, right now. That's why I made it very clear that mine do not qualify by yeah. any means. Are not even 25 years of age. Some yeah. of them, like uh, Cardi. Yeah, because there's so many oh, other man. female groups. And like, like, look, could I didn't always even bring talk up J. Cole, and right. he's he's one of my favorite rappers alive right now. Right. There's I'm so no, many people we didn't bring up, but that's part of this challenge. Man, here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm surprised you didn't mention. Mm. Um, and because I thought for sure, that's why I didn't have in my mind. I thought you were going to put LL in your list. Ooh. So LL was there for sure. And, and that, and that like was, he, that was, he's one of those guys that need to just go in now. So <laughs> yes. He's been it, nominated, 100%. right? Yeah. He's been nominated. He actually he was um, like, that's, that's the, that's the controversy because it's like, Biggie gets in before LL. I mean, you know, there's a there's a process here, of course. I'm going to tell you why I think LL isn't in, by the way. Really? I, I think the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, if you look, I think two or three out of the, the six hip-hop, or seven now with Biggie, that are now in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, were Def Jam artists. And I, I'm just venturing to guess that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was like, we got to chill on the on the Def Jam for a second. Damn, you know? I don't, I don't, man, that's, I, that's, that's an interesting, that's because, an interesting take. Okay, because you got, you got, you got, you know, Beastie Boys. Yeah, P.E., uh, Run DMC. Those are all Def Jam. Well, or no, Run, Run DMC, DMC was profile, profile, right. So, you know, I guess, I guess my theory is wrong. But anyway, At, I, I, I think that, that LL is going to get in. And um and, and I and I was he was another one that was like tough for me to not put on my list. That's why I didn't include him. I thought you were gonna put him in, in, on yours. It was tough, man. I'm telling so you. So you're gonna there, have Lil Wayne five. over LL though. I know, oh, that's, man. But I could I could say the same to you guys. About, I mean, she named know, Lil Nas X. <laughs> oh come so, on, Lil Nas X. I mean, look, and well, I got listen. a lot of respect for him. Right, master tweeter, as you put it. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so let's write all this down. So, right. you, so you got. Let you, me let me let me explain my top five, and then and, and I'll explain the number one in my top five. You explain the number one in your top five. You explain the number one. We got to do this in fifty. We got to we, we got to hit the clock. I'm a, I'm a, number I'm a, number one for us. me. Hold on. Or, or do we start at our number five? No, it doesn't even matter. Like w w this is make a make an argument for your five. All make right, an so argument for your five. Don't. Time starts. Now, number five for me um, was Be Real and Cypress Hill. And my argument is that they were really the first big rap group um, that came in with the Latin lingo, no pun intended. Mm -hmm. And no pun intended saying pun when we're talking about. Latinos in the rap game. Right. See what I did there. Yeah. <laughs> Big Pun was another pun. one that was hard for me not to pun mention. intended. Uh, pun intended. But but they changed for me when 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 Cypress Hill came around. I believe it was nineteen ninety. I want to say it was ninety two. Yeah, yeah ninety one, ninety two. When their first album came out. Yep. You know, hearing the whole the funky feel one and all those Latin lingo and you know all those the the sound that Muggs created using an SP twelve hundred. If you want to get technical about mm -hmm. it, he hooked up two SP twelve hundreds together, and I was an SP twelve hundred user and producer. And hearing what Muggs did, and for for some of you guys who forgot, Muggs produced all the a lot of the House of Pain stuff. Yep, it was incredible. Oh. Oh. Just I was blown the fuck away. So for me, that's why I put Be Real and Cypress Hill in my top five, that's just great. because of they just changed the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, producers were listening to them, going, "Oh my god!" Yeah. When you when you're, you're a rapper's favorite rapper or a producer's favorite producer, and that's what those guys were for me. Yeah, I can't. You know, I gotta I gotta put them in my top five, no doubt. Okay. Um, and and look at what they've done to change the game in general in hip hop. Yeah, like they've done they did they did festivals before hip hop artists were doing festivals. Look where festivals are at now. Uh, just what they did for the whole marijuana movement. Uh, you know, I can keep going and going mm -hmm. and going, but especially being Latinos. Um, uh, so that was my number five. Yep. You want to give your number five? Or you want me to keep going? No, keep going. Run okay, it down. Run down four, the list. Neptunes. Cha again, the sound that they had changed the game. Um, Pharrell and Chad, in my opinion, are musical geniuses. The the sounds they use were were not. It wasn't going on. You know, when you hear the songs they did for Nori, mm -hmm. when you hear the songs they did for, I mean, I, I, I yeah, I, it could, you I could go on with that. Bro, list. I don't, Jay, I could probably I mean, name any artist and they've done a song for him, but yeah, Jay Z, they just, their sound was like, oh, futuristic. Shit. And for now, me as a DJ, and, they just, they changed the sound for producers. Yeah. So whenever I see a group, an artist change the sound, mm -hmm. that to me constitutes having them uh recognized accordingly and in this case rock and roll hall of fame agree and 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 you know you see what pharrell went on to do as a solo artist as well neptunes their sound so original yeah they again they changed so much for the sound of hip-hop they're number four for me number three greatest rapper alive baby lil wayne yeah. <laughs> One of the greatest rappers alive in my book. You know, I always say that. Well, I I should re I should word it like this. One of the greatest rappers alive, still really doing it consistently. Yeah. Lil Wayne. He's one of the only artists like from that bling era that's changed that changed my perception on his skills because Dog. I come from the era of backpack hip hop, that raw grimy shit. Like I was taught and trained. To hate cats like right. Lil Wayne. That right. was just me. Right. I have my, you know my backpack because he was bling bling. He was the hot boys. He was that part of that, and you know that's uh, uh, like the masterpiece and all that. Yeah. No disrespect, but no, that was right. not my right. cup of tea. So, so like that's that he got better. Right. I, I, you know, like so it's like he, it's weird. My first impression of him is like yeah. is bling bling, and right. it's like I have to really take him out of that that era because he's grown yep. up and and is ill on the on the mic no doubt dog he got the one liners and here here's why uh, another reason I'm such a, a fan of Lil Wayne he's one of the only rappers that have as much swag and delivery as he 
as his lyrics as well as his lyrics. So a lot of people they got they they're they're lyricists, mm -hmm. but they just don't have the delivery and the swag. What yeah. they're saying, if you read it on paper, is like, oh shit, that shit's crazy. But the way they deliver it's not there. Then you got others that have crazy swag, just not saying shit. Yeah, Wayne has both, and I've said that for years. Wayne has both. He got. He got the delivery. He got the swag. He got he got all that and the consistency that he's had in no in his career. Uh, I think Lil Wayne will one day, um, hopefully, be inducted into Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, and look I think so. and look what he's done with with his company. I mean, yeah. he he put on Drake. Mm -hmm. He put on Nicki Minaj. I mean, just in my opinion, for those reasons alone. Come on, man. Yeah, like that's that's a living legend right there. So he's number three for me. Number two, Hove. Jay Z, no um, Hove came into the game in the mid '90s and changed. He set the bar at a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. um, the other reason for me is the after Hawaiian Sophie Hove. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> after Go ahead. Hawaiian Sophie Hove, <laughs> original so, flavor. Do your homework. It, Can I get open? Was a dope track that Hove was on. Sp spitting that fast yes. Hove before he he. Uh, you know, kind of um, perfected his style, and perfecting it, I think his swag. He he always had swag, but his swag just kept getting more. You know, it just it might just I don't know better is the word to use, but but another you know similar to Wayne, not comparing them as artists at all, but but he has he got swag on the mic, man, and he's saying something. Um, Jay Z has an ear to pick tracks. I, mm. I've seen videos where he's in the studio with Timberland. Oh yeah, yeah, you know? that's that's an infamous joint. When they, when they, also when they <laughs> creating a black album, it's like the black album when he was, you know, uh, documenting that. Like you know, Hove is special because he, like you said, he's a great beat picker. Man. Like his ear for beats are second to none. Man, and you know he just he 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 he, he put on so many people in the game. Um, he's been. He's 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 been the face of hip hop damn near, uh, you know, for for many years. He put on people like Kanye. He put on people like J Cole. Again, these are things I'm looking at when I'm determining like, are you in my top five? Hove has just been he's been a a, a minister of hip hop in so many different ways. Um, and then you know, there's a million other things I can say about him. Um, and he's and he's married to the Queen, uh, <laughs> Beyonce. Um, All right, do the time, one, and we gotta we gotta. Go a little quicker for our list. <laughs> yeah, number number one, one. Number one for me, Eric B. and Rakim. Vinny knows what a fan I am. We went to see Eric B. and Rakim perform um, downtown at the Belasco Theater. And I was like a kid in a, in a candy store, so to speak. Rakim's the God. He, there's, <laughs> the God. No, there's no father to his style. He is Everybody the I one. Everybody I just named. Yeah, everybody. Lil Wayne will agree with me. You can reference Rock Him. Like, Eric B. and Rock Him need to be in, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Pharrell will agree. Jay Z will agree. B. Will, B. Real will agree. Uh, and for those of you guys who aren't up on Eric B. and Rock Him, if you're a hip hop fan, do yourself a favor and go study the God Rock <laughs> Him. Hey. I ain't no joke. No, I used to let on. the mic smoke. He, what? <laughs> what? Most most people are familiar with Paid in Full. That's their biggest song. But they had, I mean, that first album, you know, Check Out My Melody. Um, I, I know you got soul. Yep. Uh, I got soul. That's why I came to teach those who can't say my <laughs> name. Woo! <laughs> Eric B. and Rakim is number one on my list. That's a great list. I like that list. All right, now we're going to get into mine. I got to go quick because Felly took 10 minutes out of his <laughs> fucking time. I had to, man. Good luck. You'll All see right. how hard it is. Outcast. Pause. The South has something to say and still has something to say. <laughs> that was another Andre I... 3000, Big Boy, possibly the greatest duo mm -hmm. in hip-hop history, hands down. Their albums are way ahead of their time. I mean, Andre 3000 ain't Andre 3000 for no reason. They he tap is into every sound. way out there. Yep. He's So, Southern Playlist of Cadillac Music, to AT Aliens, to Aquemini, Oof. to, uh, uh, what's their fourth album? Uh, Ooh, bombs uh, over Baghdad. Oh, it was uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so fresh, to cl so clean. Mm. Uh, stank on you. Thank you. Stank on you. Um, those four albums, probably the the best first four albums in a in hip hop history, in my opinion. Man, they are 
shoo-ins in the Rock and Roll have, Hall like, of the Fame. And they still have the highest selling hip hop album of all time with speaker box and the love blow right yeah if not they, even like hold yeah the record. nah like <laughs> nobody really like the um hey y'all record that was hip-hop's coming out party so to speak mm. because that's when i had people like my parents like my parents friends telling me hey this hip-hop you know thing is this like pretty thing ain't too shit yeah it's, it's not going anywhere is it and, and that that hey y'all put hip hop mm. on notice for a, for the world. Right. So that song alone and that group first ballot they're in shooing. All the players came Come on. from far and wide. Yeah. And they an afros and braids. Can that catch the fire? So okay, so Outcast. You don't have 100%. you don't have Outcast if you don't have a Tribe Called Quest. Oh, man. Tribe Called Quest, Trendsetters, I mean, I feel like a broken record because they are probably my favorite group of all time. Um, they were sampling jazz records, mm. um, creating a, a whole new sound for a genre that was already brand new. So they already created their own lane and went there, and people were just like, like you said, the Neptunes, um, those people... Uh, See when you change a sound, like when those you create, are even even for producers else, start listening to you and yeah. saying like Dr. Dre. That's why NWA is in there. Absolutely, I, like I, Dr. Dre is one of them. Like when you you change a sound, yeah, they're the epitome of rock. They're the epitome of rock and roll. Everybody was doing one thing. They did a one eighty and said, "Nah, this is us. This is who we are. We're doing this." And they, I mean, again, between Outkast and Tribe, the first few mm. albums, Tribe is come on. Yeah. They are legendary and they are flawless. So tribes in Wu Tang, the epitome again of rock and roll. Mm. They're they're a fucking rock and roll band. They're a they're a punk rock band that entered the Wu Tang Thirty Six Chambers. That album changed hip the course of hip hop and the sound of and the genre of hip hop. Th and then I I can't even obviously. Wu Tang collectively, what they did with their with their uh, clothing brand, mm. the solo projects, RZA, everything. Old dirty Sh bastard. RZA, like talk about genius. RZA, genius, <laughs> yeah. genius. Like shoe win Hall of Fame for sure. Wu Tang, um, the Roots. <sighs> Partly why I had to put the Roots in before I put like um, and again I was going back and forth with a lot of these. Uh, the Big Daddy Canes, the LLs. But I want to give props to The Roots, Questlove, and Black Thought because I just don't feel like hip-hop and the music world is appreciative as much as they should be for this group and what they did. They were in that same tribe element. They came a little bit obviously after tribe, but they had a dope, unique sound and um, they can play they're a dope band I've probably seen The Roots a dozen yeah, times like, and they break they, br they bring crazy. down the house every time because they could play everything and Quest they Love, do covers of other hip hop yeah. uh, groups it's if you've crazy. never if you ever go to a hip hop show go see The Roots live it's unlike anything I don't care what genre of music it's unlike anything you've ever seen that um, collective The Roots for sure I had to put in there now um, another collective I had to put in is the Hieroglyphics Crew from the Bay Area. Del the Funky, Homo Sapien, Casual, Souls of Mischief. Again, you can see where I grew up with the time I grew up with mm. my list. That group, again, I'm, I'm, talk, I'm putting these names into existence because they don't get enough credit where credit's due. And that crew was like Wu-Tang of... Of the West of, Coast. Of the, of the like West. North, yeah, yeah, especially in the Bay. Yeah. And like Wu-Tang and Tribe and all that good stuff. Um, Del will... One of the top MCs of all time, Souls of Mischief, that first album, ninety three till infinity. Please go go visit that album and sit with that album, ninety three till infinity is probably the best hip hop song of all time. <laughs> That's another debate for another day. But I had to put them in because I I I needed to show Hyro love because I don't feel like they get they don't enough. Get their, their due, nah, their, man, their and they're still doing they it. Deserve. They're still doing it to this day. Um, so that's my five, and I'm sticking to it. Okay. 
Sorry. Go. It's okay. No, I'll make I it quick. Have, I have 50 seconds. North thinks she oh, can do this. Shit. Okay. She thinks she Good. can do this Top less time than we did. Go ahead. Top five, Meg Thee Stallion. She's only been around for like a couple years or in the game. Already has coined an entire term with hot girl, hot girl summer, hot girl mentality, being a college girl, but also being I can, a freak. I can just hear and feel the comments killing you right yes. now. Oh my gosh. Like I'm going to get slaughtered. I just say, is a glittering <laughs> idiot. I, I don't get care. Her Bring it. I like it. I though. don't care. Outside the box. Go ahead. I'm thinking outside the box. That's right. Rockstar spirit. Meg yep. Stallion has that spirit. Eve, I remember She Eve. got a big ass too. <laughs> she does. She and the ass. strongest there, knees there in the game. A, That's a, fucking a rockstar status. Hall of fame. She'd be in that motherfucker. For <laughs> and sure. knees. I think knees more than anything. Knees? Yes, holding all that up. <laughs> so I have Eve. <laughs> Rough Riders First Lady I just remember like picking up my first Eve album and just thinking like she was such a badass and I still think that I know she still does like her talk show host mm. she's done acting um, and so she just stopped kind of just out of no like she was like I'm done with hip hop and then she blew up so quick but she hit her mark in that short it's like Biggie and Tupac they're only you know 24, 25 when they passed but like you know they hit their mark Yeah, it stayed forever yeah um, and that was but another. But not comparing Eve. Yeah, you to don't. Them. I, was, I was about to say, I'm saying, not. I wasn't like, gonna go after you about no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> but I know the comments well, so I'm, I'm gonna get ahead of myself. Yeah, the comments but, right now are just there. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I'm gonna you. get slaughtered. Okay. By the um, way, Eve, another doctor, prodigy of Dr. Dre. Fact to a certain degree. Well, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Twist. I have Cardi B. Again, everyone's in a freak out from stripper to being a rap star. She does love and hip hop. She's created her own language. She is fearless. She talks about her JJ on the red carpet. She does not care who thinks what of her. She has rock star mentality, rock star vibes all around. She kills it with her Definitely. fashion. Um, you know, Bodak Yellow, you literally turn on the radio, like, what, 2018? Mm -hmm. 2017. Mm -hmm. There's a 900% chance that she is on every radio station whether you are a pop station a hip hop station whatever like Bodak Yellow is playing then my second spot I'm gonna give it to Lil' Kim Queen B Lil' Kim mm. I also think just because she has rock star mentality just her confidence she has songs like Magic Stick and like how many licks like come on I think that's a shoe mm. in my top pick number one Missy Elliott Mm. Oh yeah, for Queen sure. of music videos continues to empower women to the, to this day. Wears whatever the fuck she wants. She is like no, name someone, name another person that's Missy Elliott. You can't. No, I like I, that. I'm a lane of her own. I'm surprised you left. Well, I'm not surprised. Queen Latifah was was. I know you thought about a lot of. Uh, I know, I yeah. know. And there's Foxy Brown. Man, and you know there's a lot of people. And then you know if you really want to get like even bigger than this, Nicki Aaliyah. Minaj. By the way, the, the what's her fans called? The um, Barb's are gonna Barb's are killing you right now. Kill me and end my They're life. killing you. But you know what? This oh, is well, my list <laughs> based on rock star mentality, rock star vibes, people who are feel or women who are fearless, and rock and stars to you. This is these are. All yeah. subjective. These are yeah. all lists that we created because yeah. that's who we uh, associate with and you know grew the, up with. So and the speak. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame don't sit there and like, well, you know, Lil Nas X sold two million. Like that does not matter. It's about people or artists who are bigger than that, who make an impact or who you know embody that. Oh, that who, term. who have influenced artists and grown artists? Yeah, you know, like Run DMC. Like think about. There's not probably a rapper alive. <laughs> especially back in the you know 80s 90s and early 2000s yeah. that didn't know about and weren't influenced you know and i think that, that's the key thing and that's another thing that i that i looked at as was influence mm -hmm. uh, did this artist or group influence other artists and producers mm -hmm. you know hence the fact you know neptunes and um and, and be real and cypress hill and um but so Great list. Our time has been up for three yeah, minutes. Yeah. Who are we inducting? Man, I, I, I would like to put uh, Missy Elliott on the forefront. I think she needs to be the first. I agree with that with your list. Okay, that's I about agree. it. Missy I agree. Elliott 10%. needs to be on Look, there. People are giving you foremost. great comments right now. <laughs> no, they're already like calling me a dumbass. <laughs> they're still commenting. You said on Cordy B, not Nikki. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, so from I agree with that. Missy Eric, Elliott, Eric B, and Rakim has got to be okay. a shoe in. Okay. And and Jay yeah. has got to be a shoe in yep. for me on yep, your list. I agree. Those on are my list. It's yeah. definitely Eric B. Rock him, uh, Eric B. and Rock him, Jay Z. Yes. And and if I had to name a, well, go ahead. No, no, no. The, okay, I, so that's three. So we got three more. Okay. We got to choose three more. We got Missy, Eric B. Rock right, him, and Jay Z. I'm gonna pick something off your list. It's a shoe in to me. Wu Tang. Okay. Got to be on, on our in our in our six. Thank you. 
Um, if I had to guess and say another one on your list, shoe in tribe called Quest. Okay. Love it. If I, I had think to say another one, one on your list, list it would probably five. be none. No, <laughs> but Lil even Kim? though your list was amazing, I don't know that Lil Kim. That's Lil tough. Kim? I love Kim. She's a friend. I've known her for years. She's a rock I, star. Nah. That's for sure. Every, I'll give you that. Rock star. She definitely is a rock star. She's a rock star. Music, what she's done, you know, yeah. like in the past and now, like yeah. what? Yeah. Lil Kim. So I, you're gonna I, put Lil? Uh, I mean, not that you want to choose. Lil Kim's gonna be in our, our top six. Nah. Absolutely. So, no. So, no. no. I, 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 <laughs> I know. And because he's a huge fan of that movement as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, we, Kim we, is we legendary. Kim is definitely, uh, uh, you know, you know what? solidified her herself. Face comes after you guys now. No, no. For this, not putting her in look, the top six. I, I can't wait. I, I can't wait to um, May 2nd, I believe, is when they induct Biggie. Um, she, you know, she's going to have a hand it. in that. And, and the performance oh, and yeah. Diddy is going to, you know, he's going to do it right. And that's why I can't wait to, to see, mm. like, um, I would love to see Jay Z like do something. Oh, in, in honor, in honor of honor, Big, yeah, I would man. love that. Jay, man. please <laughs> do something for for Big. You know, would he make up for dissing you? For yeah, that okay. would make up for dissing me when I was nineteen years old. It's man. all good. You you got to do something for Big on that day. I want to shout out my brother DJ Enough. By the way, um, Enough is going through a lot right now. Has been going through a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, we love you, brother. King of the, the heavy hitter DJ crew, uh, you guys know enough uh, from Hot ninety seven New York, and and of course our heavy hitter DJ crew. I'm proud to be a part of that crew. He's been going through a lot, and a lot of people don't know enough DJed for Biggie. Hell yeah, uh, you know, and I, I can't wait to see what goes down when they when yeah. they officially you oh, know ha- ha- induct Massive. him into the hall of fame because yeah. there's going to be so many so many people that come out and you know this that's huge it's Man. so long you know i guarantee you it. too the roots will probably be back in that Man. Band, uh, imagine the roots the playing all Atlanta. the biggie songs hypnotized they could that's Jay the thing. coming and doing a verse on something i mean yeah that's it's going to be and diddy's it's gonna gonna be excited make, he, you said it did diddy's he's gonna, gonna make put sure on the show done right absolutely he's gonna make sure it's so done we right. got missy eric b rock Kim, j wu-tang and try we only got room for one more one and two I think three she four five female. name your list again Okay, you did bring up a good point with Queen Latifah, but I, again, this was my list. Missy Elliott, Lil' Kim, Cardi B, and I dare you guys to pick Cardi B now because think about it. Think of her influence of just the last couple years, whether it's reality television, uh, music, going from stripper to rap star to mom to, you know, fashion, everything she does with Fashion Nova. Her Fashion Nova line sells out in seconds. Here's what I want y'all to think about, though. She's we're not bringing up groups like Migos. We're not bringing up, you know, because you're opening up Pandora's box right here with the comments, probably. You know, Cardi B. <laughs> I know. Who is, gives a fuck about that? Yeah, That's yeah, all that, good. No, That's no, her no. opinion. Well, I, I invite these comments. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but my point nice. is, I know a lot of people right now are probably thinking, like, how can you even bring up Cardi B way too soon? And, you know, people like, uh, groups like Migos, mm-hmm. um, it's even way you you haven't even touched on J Cole and he's been rapping, you know, doing his thing as an MC Drake, eight, the nine, ten years longer than Cardi, so to speak. Well, shit, in, if that's in the public eye, but if shit, if that's the case, then Big Daddy Kane got to go in before oh, Jay, bro, see, and you can, know we got to have Coogee rap in there. We got to have you know, is Chris Brown not a rock star? I'm just gonna bring that up. Because I, the, the, you see where I'm going with but this. You're bringing he, up Cardi B, but, then, but you're not. We're not talking about people like Chris Brown, who has changed people's careers I, by singing you, a hook. How about we? B- this b- this you wouldn't be that, a hit unless singing. Chris Brown was singing on singing. it. Singing. We're we're talking hip hop and rappers. Yeah, like hip hop rappers. That's true. Like, rather than R and B or yeah, we don't want singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like Drake too. Like I'm just I'm using him as an example of somebody who you know there's there's. There's people out. I'll, I'll, I'll name another one right now. Okay, so that, we have that, five that that would be in that category, in my opinion, of Cardi B, which you know you, you you're not even mentioning Fifty Cent. That he's he changed the face of hip hop with how he approached his his songs lyrically from that gangster tip. Mm-hmm. He had such a crazy run. You know, there's there's still an argument that Fifty could could still. He, See, his run hasn't stopped. But I so but you're and you're bringing up Cardi B, and it's no offense to Cardi because I think she's a rock star. Mm-hmm. I just I, I need to see more consistency. 
yeah, with, she's, with somebody. You know, Norse projecting, and those are, those are fair projections. I'm because predicting Cardi, the future. Yeah, she's basically yeah. predicting, and that's that's fair. But I feel like you know, again, these are all subjective. We're gonna we're making up the rules as we go along. Well, she because, still has 20, 20 more years <laughs> before she can even be you know. Yeah. Whereas most of the people, if not all of them on my list, are just a couple years away. Eric B and Rakim has been over twenty five years. Neptunes, oh yeah, thirty plus. Neptunes are 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 seven eight years away. Lil Wayne seven eight years away. Hard to believe that. Jay Z seven eight years away. B real Cypress Hill. No, Jay is there. Is Jay's twenty five uh, at this point. Oh uh, well, last his, years. First, his first right? album was ninety six. Ninety six. Yeah. So he's so he got yeah. four or five years. No, he's got no. Like he's one. got. Yeah, Wait, what? two. I can't do math. Yeah, yeah, we suck at math. Yeah, uh, tw- <laughs> 20, um, 25 years. So, is, so anyway, my point is, I tried to keep my list like of, with people who are in, like, on the cusp of it, or already have those years. Like yeah. Airbnb and Rakim have surpassed. See, I 25. purposely did not. I purposely right. went for like more of like the last. five You years. created a bunch of so my opinion. So my opinion, know. there needs to be another person off my list because my list mm. was strong. But I challenge you to pick a woman. <laughs> challenge me should... to pick a woman. A yeah. woman. Lauren Hill. If I'm gonna pick a woman, I'm gonna pick Roxanne Shante. Wow. Ooh. Stop it. <laughs> well, I'm saying. No, you know why I'm saying stop it because I, I. If I, I'm gonna I, pick a, I, that, that was one of the originators. UTFO, UTFO and Roxanne Shante were two of my first. You like know, made me fall in love with hip hop. Like yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like you gotta, uh, you gotta stop it. So my list, like stop I said, it. like I was kind of like going. There's people like, watching right now going, "Oh, Roxanne, you know, <laughs> Roxanne. All she want to do is party all night." Nah, that's not, yeah. not, not what we're talking Roxanne. about. We love Arizona service. So. Yeah, Shantae for sh- I, that Man, would be my I would, choice. I, you, you just blindsided me like a motherfucker. Well, shit. I did not see that one coming. I'm just saying, Dog. like we gotta pay, you Wait. know, pay respect. Dog. Pay you know that's shout to UTFO. Dude, come on, shout to to Mixmaster Ice and the whole UTF because she kind of spawned from all that man. Roxanne Shante, hey, Vinny, yeah, come what on. You know shout to Marley Mall. Ma, shout to MC shout Shan. To Marley, shout to Ma. Queensbridge. But I think um, again, these are all oh, subjective. Oh, gonna, uh, hold up, hold you're up. gonna. I know you. Were, where you're going? Uh-oh. We I left already, out of a, a I couple. Know, of I know. Where, I know. Lady okay. of Rage. Keep going. Rod Digger. Keep going. Iggy Azalea, I'm just joking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just joking. You're just I mean, salt and, salt and pepper. Keep going. <laughs> oh, MC Light. Thank you. I was waiting for somebody MC to say Light. MC Light. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You, pre- you, you, you predate all uh, of these see. female MCs and just MCs in general. Roxanne Shante is like the Post epitome Malone of is that. the epitome of a now rock star. Even. It's going to be interesting to see if he keeps up his rock star status. You know, okay, we got to focus. We got to focus. We got to focus. Bring, too, I say so. Heavy D and the boys. Heavy yeah. D, rest in peace. Man. Okay, what's he our brought list so melodics far? into five? commercialism heavy into D. hip hop. Wow. I don't want to use commercialism. I shouldn't have we said have that. We have Missy, but. Eric B and Rakim, mm. Jay-Z, Wu-Tang, and Tribe. Should I say my list again? <laughs> Outcast is still Oh, Outcast. Outcast is still out there. Listen, I'm gonna say Lil Wayne should be in that our top oh, six. Oh man. Because listen, he put on Drake. Oh, he but put we're on t- Nicki Minaj. But you're saying he, he, but but we would <laughs> ah. Come on, bro. Someone's Think about got it. a budge. Wheezy. That's a living legend right there, man. But Outcast too? They've I wouldn't put Wayne before sound. Outcast. That is true. They've tapped give us, into give like I said, this is killing me. I want to change my list now again I because, like, I want to put like Big Daddy Kane in before any know, of them cats. I, I want to put in and and I mean, Kooji cool rap. Mention KRS One. KRS One. Mm. I mean, it's like it's, it's too many. But I was going off the rock and roll, like people right. who shook the game, and you know, and and had a stranglehold on it. And Wu Tang created that tribe. I believe did that. High Road did that. Do we put LL in the there? Roots did that ju- for the point? Just uh, because he, he, to your point, and that was one that that we I got to put LL in, in there. I think so too. We got to put LL because you in brought there. it. You know, you you made me think about that one and the you know, creator of Goat Dog, the greatest of all time. Yeah. Uh, it came from LL. LL well, cool sure did. Muhammad Ali kind of, well, yeah. but, <laughs> but he, LL he's the one that blew it up. In he's the, the one who you referenced it. Like yeah, not yeah. many people give LL credit for that. Like that cat. Dog. Like LL deserves to be in there, like for sure, amongst a lot of people. But I mean, again, this is again all subjective. This is a fun thing. We've we're well doubled mm. our fifteen minute 
limit. Yeah. So I we're in the 30 minutes. Happen. But again, what is everyone's, what is your six? Give the six again. Get the okay. three shoe ins. Okay. Wu Tang is one. We have Missy. We have Eric B and Rakim. Jay Z, Wu Tang Tribe. And then we're, are we throwing an LL? It's either, for me, it's either LL or Outcast. And the reason I would go with LL is because uh, um, Outcast has more time left okay. than, than LL. I'll agree with that then. What do you think, Nor? I was going to say Outcast. Okay. But, I still but LL's <laughs> probably got to get it. I mean, See, are we putting? They've literally tapped into every style. Every they've I'm, had jazz and funk and rock yeah. and. But so is rap. LL. I'm looking at Missy but Elliott really hard Alex. now. I'm no, looking at Missy no, Elliott really hard no. now. As if not to keep putting it. Yeah. No, I'm no, sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Female representation. I, <laughs> Come on, get us to like eight point one percent or We're something. We're gonna be able dude. to do this top six next year. Right okay. along with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And Cardi B's still going to be on my list. Our six hip-hop picks that should be inducted. <laughs> and Okay. You well, hate Missy can be Let's now. leave it up to the... No, to the, I don't no, hate you. I'm not budging on Missy. I, don't hate, I highly dislike you and how you look. <laughs> okay, here we go. But I don't hate I'm you. I'm not budging on Missy, you guys. All that's right. not fair. Not to all, right. all guys, after we talked about the importance of representation of women, no, we're not budging on that. Okay, so Missy, Eric B and Rakim, Jay-Z, Wu-Tang Tribe, and LL Cool J. That is our Rock and Roll I feel like you guys are feeling Hall. sorry for LL Cool J. And no. And that's why like, you feel like it's missed uh, Why should we feel sorry for LL? No, 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 because no. like he no. should have been already yeah. and like oh he's yeah, exactly. like Leonardo and exactly. the, like, so maybe the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nor is gonna see this and say you know what <laughs> they are right it's Felly time Fell, Vinny the freaking Regan and nasty I ass hope, nor <laughs> I hope right. they see it and they're like you know what Cardi B is the epitome of rock star Cardi and we're B, gonna bend if the she rules stays consistent she'll time. be if she keeps doing what she's doing she'll be in, in, in there yeah so Got it? Who's number one on our top Missy six? Oh, it Elliot. don't matter. It don't matter. This is no particular the order. They're again. all in. So Eric B and Rakim, Jay-Z, Wu-Tang, Tribe, LL, and Missy. Mm. I'm okay with that list. Mainly because half of my artists got on there. Wait, who, guys... was after, who was after uh, Jay-Z? <laughs> uh, Wu-Tang, Tribe, LL. Yeah. Actually, not even half, half of mine got on. Two of the, two out of the six. So, two of mine got on. I'm happy with that. Eric B, Jay Z, Lil Wayne will be in there next year. Uh, uh, you know, Eric Eric B and Rakim, Jay Z, Tribe Called Quest, LL, Missy Elliott, and Wu Tang Clan. Solid. I like this. Strong. List. There it is. I'm not Solid. mad. I'll say it again <laughs> for everybody. Nobody wins in these situations. Eric B Nobody. and Rakim. Should be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Jay Z should be inducted. He will Tribe be. Called Quest should be inducted. Mm -hmm. LL Cool J should have already been. He will been be eventually in there. Mm -hmm. Missy Elliott. Mm -hmm. She will be. Wu Tang Clan. They will be for sure. That's our six. There Next it is. year, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame will come up with another six. Possibly one or two of those could be hip hop artists of the six. And possibly another hip hop artist could make it in next year. Yeah, that's a debate too because like a lot of these people are clown again. The whole debate about rock and roll and hip hop oh. artists being inducted in the rock inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The bottom line is hip hop. Q hip said it best: Rock and roll is a spirit, it's a state Bam. of mind too. I that get Cardi it. Cardi B and has the <laughs> hip hop. Hip hop needs their own rock, uh, hip hop Hall of Fame. I, I'm sure. They they just need to like we need our own curators and people who are able to like how we just did so talk about debate it and have people put in like right now. I could do this all day. Yeah, and we're in you know for everybody who's watching this you know wondering why we're not bringing up some of the newer uh, which we can. You know, like I said, Migos and uh, Nor touched on a couple. You know, and that's again, again. So you let, know. let's before we end this off, let's name let's name a couple of new ones that you think one day may be in this conversation. Well, one that um, I think definitely will be in due time. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. I mm, think just preach. his community outreach, his community uh, impact, his legacy. Like, Legacy, mm -hmm. yeah, I think he'll definitely be inducted, and unfortunately, um, had to go the way that he did. But same with Pac and, and Biggie, you know, they were so young, he was so young, and I think in due time, he'll eventually be inducted as well. Yep, he's a I rock agree. star in the community. 
mm. rock star on that stage. My, yeah, mine's I would obviously Kendrick and K Kendrick Dot for sure. K- oh yeah, that's a shoe in. I think every I think Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yeah. designers like the people who are in that room know like on the to the day of twenty five years that yeah. his first project first dropped, ballad he's going he's a he's shoe in. in. He's I wish showing. I could be a fly on the wall when they're in there having these conversations amongst themselves, <laughs> especially when they're bringing up the hip hop artists. Like, what are they looking at? Like, what are they saying is the reason why LL hasn't got in yet? Like, I, you know, that's that that'd be something well, because to, they still haven't inducted a ton of people like rock and roll artists, though, too. You right. know what I mean? So there's yeah, a, you know, there's a <laughs> there's a line Ed. that's around the block. And that's why I say we got to have our own hip hop Hall of Fame. Fuck the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. <laughs> got to have our own, you know, uh, because there's all these artists that, you know, and tons that we didn't even mention that deserve to be there who are ahead of their time. And mm. um, just we that's why we need to curate our own. Give me give me two more new, more current. I'm making my Cole. Just got that on. here. OK, so we got K. Cole, Nipsey. Um, you guys are going to be so pissed off. Uh-oh. I'm going to say Drake. I think oh. he's the most versatile. No. I mm-hmm. mean, I, Drake is, to me, Drake is the Kobe of hip-hop music. He just Everybody loved lose. to hate Kobe because yep. he was so good. And and go ahead, Vin, you Knicks fan. <laughs> That's why y'all got that ass whooped last night. Late Dang. show, baby. Just don't bring up that shit. Kobe go. Bryant, man. Goat. Go. Okay, that's another debate for goats. another day. So uh, we'll so leave Drake, that alone. I'm, mad. I'm not mad. I I, I agree. He's His he's one of the of newer work, that we can't. have to put yeah. in that yep. new. Oh, yeah, I mean when you when you breaking Beatles records, you got to get in there. I think and eventually I would put Kanye as, as yeah. the fifth yeah. one for Kanye me. for sure. Right. So we got Nipsey, Kendrick, J Cole, Drake, and Kanye. Those are all. They've all yeah. changed the game. They're all L- look look at what Kanye's done. Uh, They'll all be in there. People can say whatever they want to say about Kanye West, but gives zero fucks. <laughs> no one's done it like Kanye. No, I mean, straight up. From he gives zero fucks. Uh, his albums to his Sunday service to his man. rants to his Yeezys. We need to, to have a po- uh, Kanye West edition right? oh, on the next podcast, possibly, <laughs> because that is, we could talk, I could talk Kanye for a whole hour easily. The, I'm not going to put this next one on my lip, but name. What's the what's a brand new like in the last two years, <laughs> hip hop artist that's not on this list that the that 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 people don't are look watching, at me. The youngins are watching right now, going, <laughs> how are you not bringing up the baby? I don't know the, the baby. baby. Yeah. Lil Uzi's Lil a rock star. Who Lil Uzi? Post Malone was the other one that I was gonna say because I think he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna stand the test of time. Lil Uzi, eh, for the, on the female end, one that I know for a fact will eventually win all of our hearts, and a lot of people are late to her if you haven't already, or if you just got on with her last album. But I think Rhapsody is going to eventually earn everyone's wow. respect. Mm-hmm. I think she is in a lane of her Love own that. as well. I think that she is like the epitome of female hip hop artists, like. I don't think anyone's mm. doing it like her. I agree, a hundred percent. We've touched on old school. We've touched on you know early two thousands. We've touched on a little bit on the newer. And comment right now and let us know. Like, tell us how ashamed you are of us right now. <laughs> Seriously, I, I'm getting a very safe. like, but now nah, I'm getting a really the, um, all the artists strange feeling in my up. stomach right now. This Let is me, not going to go scared. over well. No, I don't. I don't really care. Not. But I'm just That's saying, why I like, hate doing lists. I'm talking even for more myself because, mm-hmm. like I said, I left out Big Daddy Bro, Kane and I know, um, it's tough. and and so many other artists that but deserve you know to what? be on there. Look, here's that are the great thing about it. You motherfuckers, you can make your own list. <laughs> yeah, you and can get it. You can have a drink at the bar with the homies or at the counter, you know, at the crib, and you can sit and you guys can come up with your top six inductees into the next Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yes. And leave a True comment. That. We don't have a podcast Instagram yet, but you could follow us at DJ Felly Fell, at Vin Reekin, yep. at Notorious B-I-G. Bam. And of course, y- uh, y'all know where we're at, power106.com, at yes. power underscore 106. On the gram. You know what I'm saying? Shout and, to Biggie Smalls getting into the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We did it, Brooklyn. We did it. Yeah, Shout- Diddy, Diddy, Diddy said it right when he posted. <laughs> Love you it. You did it, Biggie. You did it, <laughs> motherfucker. Yes. <laughs> so great. 
Yeah, man. That's going to be great to see that, and I think we should leave on that note. Yep. Um, be nice in the comments. Have fun with this. It's not that serious. Yeah. It's too it's, late for them to be It's all ignored. subjective. It's all subjective. I mean, Oh, and, and, and we still want on. you guys to comment on a name. Uh, the top one on our list right now for our podcast name is 106 and Pod. That's right. So uh, if you guys got something better, leave the comments. Till next time. Chill. Nobody loves you. Felly Fell loves you. <laughs> Vinny loves you, too. Nor loves you, too. Thank we you. in the whip. <laughs>